Hi guys, welcome back. Let's look into the Redox quiz that I've uploaded in Google Classroom. Now I hope you went through the theory and solved some examples, so this is easier. I've chosen the questions so that they are pretty much in pattern with NEET and for most part IIT JE mains. Okay, let's look into it. Question number one: Which of the following is a redox reaction? So, null reaction is the redox Okay, there are a couple of things you need to know. You need to get the answer, and you need to get the answer right and the fastest way possible. Okay, now this pattern comes many times in NEET. Now, if you look at the four options here. First way, redox one on one, you can do it. null equation is okay. It will take you a long time to do. So the fastest way to find a redox equation, whether something is a redox or not, is to see whether something is by itself on the left side or right side. Okay, in the standard state, meaning zero state, like that, oxidation state. Now look at, for example, in our case, first case, like hydrogen, like that, and H plus are okay, standard state, like that. So I'm ignoring. I am not telling you it is not a redox, in the other part, redox alien and the equation of part, at least I am trying to find the fastest way possible. Second one, third one, I get to see my I2 by itself. So, I2 is 0, I2 is 0, or any element when it is by itself, it is 0. So, if it is with somebody else, it is either positive or negative. How much positive, how much negative, I do not care. Now, I have I2 on the left side and on the right side it is not I2, so it has changed in oxidation number, it is a redox, that is all option Charlie 3. Okay, this is the way you want to do. Now, if you want to actually do the example, let us look into Charlie, option Charlie, they given you Na2 S2 O3 plus I2 giving you Na2 S4 O6 plus NaI. So, this is the option given. Let us even look into knowing which ones have oxidized, which ones have reduced. Now, when I look at here, Sodium by itself is 0, but N mathe ethanol sodium is plus 1, okay, except hydrogen. Sorry. Now, when you look here, you can either assign the oxidation number for all of them, okay, because we are revising it, let us do that. Sodium by itself is 0, any other person sodium is with, sodium is going to be plus 1. So, sodium is plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that makes this minus 1 iron is 0. So far it's very simple. Now my sulphur here, so I have 2 sodiums each of them is plus 1 plus 2 sulphur oxidation number is x plus 3 oxygen oxidation number is minus 2 that equals the total oxidation number of a compound it is not an ion compound that is 0. So plus 2 minus 6 makes it minus 4 that makes it 2 x equals plus 4 minus 4 in the component plus 4 x equals plus 2. So, this sulphur is plus 2. Similarly, here I have 2 sodiums plus 1 plus 4 x now plus 6 oxygen minus 2 correct. So, this is plus 2 plus 4 x minus 12 equals 0 because the oxidation number of a neutral compound is 0 or of total charge is 0. So, minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10 and the bottom point of plus 10. So, 4 x equals plus 10, x equals 10 by 4 is 2.5. Now, do you have fractional oxidation numbers? Yes, but it is not go, uh, how it is going to be. It will have a sulphur sulphur bond inside. You do not have to look into that right now. At least I know that my sulphur has went from plus 2 to 2.5. My iodine I2 going to and this is going to be two of them, we do not need to worry about balancing it, but just for clarity sake. So, 0 going to minus 1 times 2. So, this is a 2 electron process. Okay. So, this has gotten it has gained in electron, 
this is lost in electron. So, my sulfur has become oxidized, iodine has become reduced. We will see in electrochemistry later something that gets oxidized is reducing agent because it reduces somebody else. Iodine is getting reduced, so it is the oxidizing agent, it is oxidizing my sulfur. All right, question number 2. Okay, this is something that we can work on and you want to remember this particular example in NEAT MnO4 oxalate you want to remember that. So, they have given you MnO4 minus plus C2O4 2 minus plus H plus giving you Mn2 plus plus CO2 plus water. You can do two different ways oxidation number method you can do or you can also do your half reaction method. Now, let us keep only here or maybe here I will do the half reaction method. What I want to do I want to separate my oxidizing reaction separately compared to reducing reaction. So, I have my MnO4 minus giving you Mn2 plus and here I have C2O4 2 minus giving you CO2 this is what I have. Now, what I need to do first is in an oxidation number sorry in a half reaction method first step is always trying to figure out equal number of atoms of all elements except oxygen and hydrogen 1 Mn 1 Mn I am good. Next I want to take care of my oxygen there is 4 oxygen here so plus 4 H 2 O. So, that makes my oxygen equal now that takes care of my hydrogen there is 8 hydrogen here I have no hydrogen here so plus 8 H plus all right. Now, last step is all the atoms are balanced electron or charge balancing 8 plus plus 1 minus is plus 7 total charge there is 7 plus here there is 2 plus. So, 5 electron difference. So, another 7 plus 7 the 2 plus are condor medium by adding 5 electrons. So, I have MnO4 minus plus 8 H plus plus 5 electron gives you Mn2 plus plus 4 H2 O. On the other side first I have to balance my atoms other than oxygen hydrogen I have 2 carbons. So, 2 CO2. Now, that I have balanced it I am looking at my oxygens 4 oxygen on left side 4 oxygen on right side I am good. Next is charge 2 minus here. So, I have to add plus 2 electrons. Okay. So, now I have to balance the electrons this one wants 5 electron that one can give only 2 electrons. So, I have to multiply this by 5 multiply this by 2. I am going to add them together as I multiply let us not waste one step. So, 2 all of the multiply panna, 2 MnO4 minus plus 16 H plus plus wait till the electrons if the 5 all the multiply panni left side add panna poro. So, 5 C2O4 2 minus plus 2 times 5 is 10 electrons giving you let us add all the right hand side 2 times Mn2 plus is 2 Mn2 plus plus 8 water plus 5 times 2 is 10 CO2 plus 10 electrons. Now, I can cancel this the next step you want to do is condense the numbers by lowest divisibility, but I do not I cannot because either line even number is the odd number you cannot do anything. Now, let us see whether we have any option matches. So, they are asking you what is it for coefficient for the balanced equation. So, M 1 O 4 I have 2 then C 2 O 4 5 and then H plus 16. So, option alpha I cannot stress it enough you want to remember this. MnO4 minus will react with C2O4 2 minus in the ratio 2 is to 5. This is extremely important that you remember it. Okay. Now, you can also say 1 is to 5 by 2 divided by 2 on both sides or 2 by 5 is to 1 divided by 5 on both sides. Why you want to remember that is Ungalakasila reaction la either moles could be the one kepana. Or mole could 2 by 5 na x moles x times 2 by 5. 
I can give you moles of MnO4 minus, let's say Y. What is the moles of C2O4? 2 minus Y times 5 by 2. So, you want to remember this. Let's practice this one. Can we do the same in terms of oxidation number method? Sometimes both are easy, sometimes one of them is easier than the other depending on the examples that you have. Now, what we want to figure out is what has gotten oxidized and what has gotten reduced. And the key here is M1 is getting going from plus 7 to plus 2 carbon is going from so C2O4 2 minus. So, what I have carbon and oxidation number I do not know 2 times x render carbon record plus 4 times each oxygen is minus 2 equals total charges minus 2. So, 2 x minus 8 equals minus 2 2 x equals if this goes to the other side plus 6 x equals plus 3. So, this carbon is plus 3 this carbon is plus 4 and I render oxygen on the plus 4. So, plus 3 goes to plus 4. Now, the key here is you want to be very sure that first atom balancing panna kuda adhan vanga ana in the mar redox la ore or atom balancing panna no. Each carbon is going to go to plus 3 to plus 4 there is 2 carbon. So, you have to make it 2 minimum ok. Ok now that we have got our carbons ok there is 2 carbon here I want to make it 2 ok. Now, let us look into the electrons I have lost 5 electrons here sorry I have gained 5 electrons here I have lost 1 electron 2 carbons are there so times 2 so total 2 electrons. So, either 5 electron process either 2 electron process. So, I have to multiply this by 2 I have to multiply this by 5. So, in the head in tail rendi me panna poro. So, 2 2 and then 5 times 2 is 10 in the 5 ok. Now, I got everything I wanted except I have to balance my oxygens. 4 times 2 is 8 oxygen plus 20 oxygen is 28 oxygens. Here I have 5 10 times 2 is 20 oxygen plus 1 other I need 28. So, I have to multiply by 8. So, I have to put a 8 here that makes it 28 oxygen 28 oxygens. Now, I balance my hydrogen there is 16 hydrogen I put a 16 I get the same number. So, which way would you choose this is a better way if you do not have space. Okay, but this is not a good way if this is confusing for you go to that one even that you will get faster. Next we will look at problem number 3 in the reaction that is shown on the board they are asking you 1 mole of CrO4 will liberate how many moles of O2. Now, we can also talk about how many what is the volume of O2 liberated all those it still comes into mole concept balancing, but except this is redox balancing atom balancing panala, but we can also do redox balancing. Okay. Let us see. Now, what I know is they are asking me for every 1 mole of this how many moles of this I get ok. Now, here is a trick that you need to do you cannot separate into oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. The reason what is getting oxidized and what is getting reduced is CrO5. CrO5 has a peculiar structure CrO5 structure on the video. We will see this in chemical bonding later. It is called a butterfly structure, looks like a butterfly. Okay. So, here if you see chromium has 6 bonds with oxygen. So, chromium is 6 plus and oxygen's average oxidation number is minus 6 by 5 each oxygen times 5 makes it minus 6. Okay. This is what you want to know. So, chromium on the plus 6 goes to plus 3. Oxygen minus 6 by 5, whatever it may be, this goes to this goes to 0 and this goes to plus 6 goes to plus 3 ok. Alright, now what you can do is you can look at it as ok. Now, what first thing we do chromium pakaranama rendu chromium irukka. So, I have to make this 2. The next what you do is look at it as a one equation I need to solve for other elements except oxygen and hydrogen sulfur, but sulfur is present as sulfate, sulfur is present as sulfate. So, leave it alone except there is 3 sulfate. So, I will make it 3 right. Now, I need to balance my oxygen next hydrogen. 
இந்த கேஸில் வந்து ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஹைட்ரஜன் பேலன்ஸ் பண்ணிட்டு ஆக்சிஜனுக்கு போங்க த ரீசன் ஆக்சிஜன் இஸ் டூ பிளேசஸ் ஹவு டி பேலன்ஸ் ஆக்சிஜன் இங்கே ஒரு நம்பர் இருக்குது அந்த சைடில் எந்த நம்பரை போட்டால் எதை பேலன்ஸ் பண்ணும் தெரியாது நான் இங்கே போடணுமா இங்கே போடணுமா தெரியாது ஸோ ஐ லீவ் இட் ஆஸ் இட் இஸ் நோ வாட் ஐ கேன் டூ லுக் அட் ஹைட்ரஜன் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் டூ சிக்ஸ் ஹைட்ரஜன் ஸோ ஐ புட் த்ரீ ஹியர் நோ பேலன்ஸ் ஆக்சிஜன் திஸ் ஆக்சிஜன் இஸ் பேலன்ஸ் டுவெல் ஆக்சிஜன் டுவெல் ஆக்சிஜன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் லுக் அட் திஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஆக்சிஜன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் சாரி டென் டென் ஆக்சிஜன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஃபைவ் டைம்ஸ் டூ இஸ் டென் த்ரீ இஸ் அக்கௌண்டட் ஸோ ஐ நீட் செவன் ஆக்சிஜன்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ நீட் டு புட் திஸ் அஸ் செவன் பை டூ ஸோ நவ் டூ சிஆர் ஓ ஃபைவ் ரியாக்ஸ் வித் செவன் பை டூ ஓ டூ ஸோ ஒன் சிஆர் ஓ ஃபைவ் வில் ரியாக்ட் வித் செவன் பை ஃபோர் ஓ டூ ஸோ ஹென்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஆப்ஷன் டெல்டா கொஷின் நம்பர் ஃபோர் விச் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் இஸ் அ ரீடாக்ஸ் ரியாக்ஷன் அகெயின் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ வாட் யூ வாண்ட் அ லுக் அட் எனி திங் பை இட் செல்ஃப் going into something that is not by itself is a redox reaction question option a zinc is by itself right side la zinc compound a podu so it is a redox reaction alpha fifth one which reaction does not represent auto redox or disproportionation reaction auto redox or uh, disproportionation reaction is when something gets oxidized and reduced by itself oru bhagam adoda oxidize agum innoru bhagam adoda reduce agum not exactly half and a half depends on how the electrochemistry works or redox works one part of the molecule gets oxidized adukundana electron ad other part of the molecule gets reduced eduthukom okay. now when you look at it here you see option a cl2 is in zero state going into cl minus minus state and clo3 minus clo3 minus na appo enna irukum adoda charge so this is x x plus 3 times minus 2 equals minus 1 x minus 6 equals minus 1 x is plus 5 so chlorine has gone from 0 to minus 1 and plus 5 so that's a re- disproportionation reaction second one is an example you want to remember extremely important hydrogen peroxide gets disproportionated to h2o and o2 hence you use it for um, washing clothes to bring up the colors back okay non bleach third one cu plus cu2 plus a podu oru bagam oru bagam cu a podu so that is also disproportionation when you look at delta you look at the compound when you look at oxidation numbers you will actually see it's not disproportionating okay it's basically conversion of a salt into individual molecules okay so option is delta question 6 how many liters of cl2 will be liberated by oxidation of nacl with 10 grams of kmno4 plus in this cell gives you they are telling you mn2 plus plus cl2 so kmno4 going to mn2 plus you will see in d block okay you will see it extensively second thing is kmno4 molecular weight they will give you actually okay we can take it roughly as 158 i think or 159 doesn't matter so they telling you 10 grams of that this is gram per mole 10 grams of that how many liters of cl2 is liberated by oxidation of nacl with 10 grams of kmno4 appo nacl excess a irukku idhu dhaan 10 grams irukku now what you can do is we need to balance the equation how you want to balance it mn is plus 7 so plus 7 goes to plus 2 for electron process fair enough but cl minus goes to cl2 ana inga subscript 2 irukanaala nam modhala inga 2 podanum so this is 2 electron process so that's why this is 2 so i have to multiply this by 5 so that makes it 5 that makes it 10 i multiply this by 2 so that's 2 that's 2 so what i have is a vital information 2 moles kmno4 gives you 5 moles o2 So, what is the moles of KMnO4? We know that moles equals mass over molar mass. We have seen this before. So, 10 grams divided by 158. You can take it as 160. And now, 1 by 16 over on pound. Now, what is moles of Cl2 equals moles KMnO4 times 
so 2 gives you 5 correct so times 5 by 2 upper 1 will give you 5 by 2 so that is going to be 10 times 5 divided by 158 times 2 so this is moles of cl2 what is the volume of cl2 at stp 1 lit so 1 mole occupies 22.4 liters so so many mole occupies divided by 158 times 2 times 22.4 liters now you can calculate it yourself you should get the option alpha all right number 7 which of the following chemical reactions depicts the oxidizing behavior of h2so4 a vital question it has come a similar pattern has come in neat ones a a triple e is nothing but je mains in those days so which of the following depicts the oxidizing behavior of h2so4 meaning something has to get oxidized other oxidizing behavior now that has to get reduced very simple multiple ways to see it one is i have a reactant i put an oxidizing agent this gets oxidized this gets reduced so either either oxidation number which you reduce air can't park along h2so4 reduce h2so4 plus sulfur oxidation number plus 6 in the side plus 6 come here ka park along okay or in the side like that other oxidation number adhigama air ka park along now look at first reaction sulfur is plus 6 so to cl2 liyo sulfur is plus 6 so no change in oxidation number oxidation number marar na ad oxidizing agent a irukka mudi adu Second one, HI H2SO4. HI plus H2SO4, they are giving you I2 plus SO2 plus H2. Right away, something by itself, something not by itself. So, it is a redox reaction. Redox reaction, abdina, this is some type of agent. In a SO4 oil, plus 6, plus 4. Getting reduced oxidizing agent. By the way, I want to say this. H2SO4 when the oxidizing agent are matuna irkamuni, reducing agent are irkamuni other because it is already in the highest oxidation state of sulfur. Plus 6 kamala plus 8 plus 9 po mudi other. So if at all it reacts, it can be by itself. SO4 away irkla, previous example on the path. Illana oxidizing agent are matuna irkam. Okay, so option is beta for number 7. Number 8. Match the list 1 with list 2. Na in 3. N2 H2 NO N2 O5. Okay. Let's go for the simple ones. N2 O5. N2 O5. Now each oxygen is minus 2, total is minus 10. Up a nitrogen on the total is plus 10. Render nitrogen plus 10 charge that now each nitrogen is plus 5. Similarly, hydrogen is plus 1. Up a render hydrogen on the plus 2. Plus 2 ki equal counterpart and minus 2. Rendi nitrogen minus 2 share pannana, each nitrogen is minus 1. NO minus 2 plus 2. Okay, now when you see, I do not I don't want to get it from here. Now if you see, you have, this is D, C, B, A or we can put it this way, A, B, C, D. D can option and 1. C can option plus 2 is 2. Now, B, B can option on the minus 1. So, that is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, third is minus 1 by 3. All right. Now, how do I get minus 1 by 3? NaN3 is called sodium azide. Azide le po me N3 minus erukon. Appa idu Na plus. N3 minus moon nitrogen send minus 1 of dina or nitrogen on the minus 1 by 3. Sodium aside maria barium aside azides are very useful because N3 minus is unstable. So it wants to become stable. So impact on alay N2 a kurutro. So what they do is they take a small amount and put it in airbags. Airbags on the car damage on what an airbag per sakum because N2 is liberated. So remember it this way azides are N3 minus useful in airbags, particularly barium aside. Right. So now we have option alpha. Ninth one HI plus HNO3 gives you NO plus 
I2 plus H2O. Okay. Now you can do multiple ways. You can do redox balancing through oxidation number method, or you can do redox balancing through half reaction method. Half reaction method is a little easier here, but still it is not that big of a deal. Let us do a half reaction method. So, HI gives you I2, HNO3 gives you NO. So, very simple two iodines, so two of them, two H plus, so two H plus, total charge 0. Now, Vegma Paramar Rakon, the speed you have to get, total charge 0, in the two H plus circuit, so two electron. Now, here one nitrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygens, only one oxygen, so I balance my oxygen using water, two waters. So, there is four hydrogen, there is only one hydrogen, so plus 3 H plus, right. Okay. Uh, 4, yeah, 4 hydrogen, 1 hydrogen is there, so 3 hydrogens, alright. Now, total charges plus 3 electron. So, in get 3 electron, in get 2 electron. So, all this times 3, all this times 2. So, 6 H i plus 2 H n O 3 or 3 H i 1 H n O 3. Okay. X is 6, Y is 2. Simple. Question number 10. This is a small correction. This is supposed to be 0.04 molar. I think I summed up pretty much what the question is saying. Which of the following is the most likely representation of oxidation number? Oxygen state of Z when it goes to the other side. Okay. So, this is already a stable cation. X, let us say X plus it is going to Z Y plus. Okay. Now, what you need to do is look into K mono 4 in the acidic solution. K mono 4 on the above. K mono 4 goes to M n 2 plus 5 electron process. Okay. So, this is what we have. So, this is 5 electron process. Now, what is the moles of K mono 4? N K mono 4 equals 25 mils molarity times volume. Okay. This is what I have. I uh, leave it like this. So, this is going to be millimolar. So, this is moles of K mono 4. One mole K mono 4 anji electron tarudu. So, moles electron given by K mono 4 is 25 mils times 0.04 molar times 5 electrons. So, this is the moles electron. This is the moles electron. Okay. So, now how many moles of Z x plus we have taken 25 mil times 0.1 molar. This is the moles of Z x. So, what it is saying is Evlo moles Z x plus has used up Evlo moles electron in a K mono 4 length Evlo moles K mono 4 length Evlo electron karakid. Okay, Evlo electron I are used to Evlo mole Z plus. Okay. So, then what is the number of electron used by 1 z? So, basically what we need to do is electrons per z x x s plus s total electrons let us put it this 25 mils 25 mils times 0.04 molar times 5 electrons either than total electron got from k mono 4 should be equal to the electron used up by this or actually I should say the oxidizing agent. So, this is the amount of electron K mono 4 is consumed. So, if K mono 4 needs so many electrons, who will give the electrons? This will give the electron. So, if this has given so much electron, how much electron is given by 1 mole? So, total electrons divided by moles of Z x plus. So, now what I have this molarity molarity goes away 0 0.1 0 0.04. Okay. Now, I will do it in steps if you want. We can take it as 0 0.1 as 1, either one the 0.4. 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 0.4 is 2 electrons. So, it is a 2 electron process. Now, look into which one is a 2 electron process here. Okay, Your first one is a 1 electron process, option beta is a 2 electron process except option beta is a reducing process, not an oxidizing process. K mono 4 is an oxidizing agent, reduce panna, the oxidize panna. So, beta is wrong. Charlie is a one electron process, delta is the correct option. Question 11. 
in a basic medium CrO4 2 minus oxidizes S2O3 2 minus to form SO4 2 minus plus CrOH4 minus. How many mils of this is required to react with so much? First, we have to balance the equation. Let us stick with the easier method, half reaction method. CrO4 2 minus giving you CrOH4 times minus and then S2O3 2 minus giving you SO4 2 minus. Alright, now what do we do? First, chromium balance panla 1 1 rukka, 4 oxygen, 4 oxygen, 4 hydrogen rukka, so plus 4 H plus. Now, electron balancing, I have minus 2 plus 4 equals plus 2. Here, I have minus 1. So, because I have minus 1, I have to bring this down to minus 1. So, I add 3 electrons. Here, I have 2 sulfurs, 2 sulfurs, 3 oxygen, 8 oxygen. So, I have to add 5 H2O that brings me 10 H plus. What is the total charge here? Minus 2. In the total charge 2 times minus 2 plus 10. Minus 4 plus 10 is plus 6. At the plus 6 are the minus 2 are. So, I have to bring it down to minus 2. So, I add 8 electrons. So, 3 electrons. So, what I need to do? Multiply this by 8, multiply that by 3. So, I have 8 CRO4 2 minus will react with, I have to multiply this by 3. So, 3 S2O3 2 minus giving you what you want. But the most important is it is 8 is 3. Okay. So, now I let you do the problem. How you are going to do it is, in a kidoda quantity kutrukanga volume molarity. So, I can calculate moles of S2O3 2 minus equals volume times molarity of S2O3 2 minus. Moles of CrO4 2 minus equals moles S2O3 2 minus. If I can do it, can I moles? Can I say 3 moles? 8 mole. 1 mole is 8 by 3. So, can I moles of S2O3 3 no? times 8 by 3? Panna moles of CrO4 2 minus. Thariyo. Now, volume of CrO2 CrO4 2 minus is moles equals molarity times volume. Volume equals moles over molarity. So, this number divided by molarity. Molarity is given as 0.154. Now, if you calculate, you should get option Charlie. I am just showing you the template. Alright, last one. Twelfth question. Hopefully, you are able to follow me through this. During the disproportionation of iodine to iodide and iodate. Iodine to iodide and iodate. IO4 minus is periodate, either iodate. The ratio of iodate and iodide form this in alkaline medium. Alright, so now what do we do is we can do I2 giving you I minus, I2 giving you IO3 minus, half reaction method. So I put 2 here plus 2 electrons. Simple. Now this is total. Now we get 2 potassium no more because there is 2 iodine, 2 iodine. 3 times 2 is 6. So, plus 6 water molecules to balance my oxygens. Now, that makes it 12 hydrogens. So, 12 H plus. What is the total charge on left side? 0 and 0 is 0. In the total charge on the 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 12 times plus 1. So, minus 2 plus 12 is plus 10. In the, in the side is 0, in the side is plus 10. So, I have to add 10 electrons to make it neutral and then the side is 0 and the side is 0. This is 2 electron process, this is 10 electron process. So, I have to multiply this by 5. So, what I get is 5 I 2 plus 10 electron gives you 10 I minus. Now, I add these two reactions 5 I 2 plus I 2 is 6 I 2 gives you now 10 iodine plus 2 I O 3 minus plus 10 electron, 10 electron cancels out. So, this is what I have. So, I have a ratio of 10 is to 2 or 5 is to 1. So, what they have given you is they are asking you ratio of iodate to iodide. Iodate to iodide is 1 is to 5. Option is alpha. Alright, hope you found it okay now.
Now practice it yourself. If you have a pattern, you will have to be very careful, very simple to make a mistake here and there. So be very careful because this pattern comes many times and it's an easy four points. Sometimes this reaction is part of a bigger problem, ECM. So if you don't practice it, ECM will be a problem for you guys. Okay, for those of you who have not done the quiz, try not to write down the solution, try to do it yourself without memorizing. Try to check your answers again. Okay, good luck, guys.